Okay, today we're going to be talking about percents that are greater than 100 or less than 1. The first example I have for you is 3 tenths of a percent. Well, how would I go about representing that as a fraction? Well, remember the rule is that all percents can be written over 100. Even though this is less than 1%, we can still write it over 100. I would write it as 0.3 over 100. Well, remember, I don't want to have that decimal mixed in with the fraction, so I need to move it out. To move it out, I would need to multiply the numerator by 10. That would move it one place to the right. Well, yeah, whatever I do to the numerator, I must also do to the denominator. And so now I can rewrite that as 3 over 1,000, or 3 one-thousandths. So that's rewriting it as a fraction. Again, to rewrite that as a decimal, I just need to move the decimal place to the left two times which means that I would be filling in with two zeros, and my answer would be 0 .003. Notice that these are the same thing, three thousandths and three thousandths. All mean the same thing. This is three tenths of a percent. It's the same thing as three one thousandths. Again, the same thing as three one thousandths written as a decimal. So let's see how this works for numbers that are more than 100. Okay. Like I said, all the percents can be written over 100. This is no exception. This is 140%. That's the same thing as 140 over 100. Well, this can be simplified. And I can simplify it by dividing it by 20. Whatever I do to the numerator, I must also do to the numerator. Well, 20 will go into 147 times. 20 will go into 100 five times. So this is the same thing as 7 fifths, which is the same thing as 1 and 3 fifths. You will always get a mixed number if your percent is greater than 100. That's where the 1 comes from, or 2 or 3 or whatever the case may be. If it were 200 percent, then you'd have a 2 as your whole number. If it were 300%, you would have 3 as a whole number. The 40% comes from, from the fraction that you get at the end. It's not 1 and 3 fifths, by the way. It's 1 and 2 fifths. I was wondering why that wasn't working, right? Anyway, 1 and 2 fifths. The 40 right here comes from dividing 2 by 5. That's going to give you 0.40. And again, that's why any time you have a percent greater than 100, you're going to get a mixed number as a fraction. So let's go ahead and change our 140% to a decimal. Well, remember, to go from a percent to a decimal, you're going to move the decimal place twice to the left. That means that your answer is going to be 1.4. That's 1 and 4 tenths. 1 and 4 tenths is the same thing as 1 and 2 fifths, and 1 and 2 fifths is the same thing as 140%. These numbers all mean the same thing. 